Hey YouTube! This video is going to be about modesty and me and my husband's journey um, over the past five, six months to find out the real truth behind everything that we did believe, um, like traditions of men and just listening to preachers on their pulpit and just believing them and, you know, taking their word for it. Um, I guess it was, you know, Yahweh just really digging deep into my heart. Um, and I have another friend, uh, Sarah, who, you know, really helped show me the truth, too, because it's always nice to find people that are like-minded to, you know, really dig in deep and, you know, find out the truth. Um, don't just believe what we're hearing, you know, to come out of the world, to keep coming. When you're a Christian and you're a follower of Yahweh, you're going to keep wanting to see, you're going to keep wanting to grow and learn, and you're not just going to want to stay stuck. You know, because we're constantly needing to be reading the Word. And when we're, we're, we're reading the Word, we're transforming and our minds are renewing. And that's what we need to keep doing is continue to keep grow and find the truth out. But um, this video is about modesty. And the truth about modesty um, needs to be said. Because I thought the truth about modesty was once you become born again, that, you know, you've just got to cover up a little bit more than you were. <laughs> And what I used to wear was, you know, really, really short shorts, cleavage showing top, um, everything that showed my shoulders, my back, you know, um, my legs, my thighs, you know, bikini, stuff like that. And when I became born again, I still, you know, wore that, but I covered up a little bit more. I still wore my bikini, but it would be like the tiny little shorts instead of just, you know, the regular bikini bottoms, stuff like that. And I thought that was okay. Um, but, you know, uh just reading the word more and just, just understanding what it really means is that that stuff is not okay. It's not okay with Yahweh. And we can reason around in our minds and say, you know, oh, you know, I'm just going swimming. This is the only thing that feels comfortable swimming. Well, you know, when we follow Yahweh, um, our flesh is going to desire, you know, a lot of things that aren't of Yahweh, aren't of God, but they are Satan. And I truly believe it's exposing ourselves, uh, things that are only supposed to be between me and my spouse, you know, like, a uh, bikini looks like lingerie. It does. It looks like underwear. And, you know, I'm not just sharing my body with my husband anymore. I'm sharing it with the world because I'm only covering little bits and pieces, and there's not much left to the imagination. And it causes other people to stumble and fall. And we might say we're not our brother's keepers, but we are because what we do can cause someone else to sin. You know, we do not want other people to stumble over what we're doing over what we're wearing. We have to be set apart. And if if I put myself beside someone that's a non believer, I want to be able to tell who's who from a non believer, you know. I don't want to look like them. I don't want to act like them. I don't want to dress the same as them. I want to be different because I'm serving God. I'm serving Yahweh. And we really, really have to dig deep into the truth and and find out, you know, what serves Yahweh and what doesn't and come out of the world even if it even if it boils a little bit inside, even if it hurts a little bit inside, even if it's something that we don't want to do, you know, even if it's something that we don't want to do. So, um, we do it for Yahweh, and we do it because we love Yahweh, and we want to serve Him with our bodies, um, our minds, our hearts, and when we say that, when Yahweh says that um, in the Bible, to love the, the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, We've got to mean that. We can't just give them lip service. We've got to mean that with our with everything we do. And um, you know, in Second Timothy two nine it says, likewise, also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self control, not braided hair, gold or pearls or costly attire. But with that is proper for women who profess godliness with good works. And respectable attire, well, what is that? It's covering up yourself. It is not glorifying yourself anymore. It is glorifying Yahweh. Um, you know, wearing long skirts, wearing long pants, um, you know, stuff that's not form-fitting and that shows off your body, that shows off your womanly body. And, um, you know, women are beautiful, but, you know, because we are made from God, but we are not to go around and be someone else's feet for their eyes. And we really do have to pay attention because Yeshua said that if a man looks at a woman with lust, he's already committed adultery in his heart with her. You know, all, if you look at someone with lust, that is committing adultery. And we just we just want to step back and we don't 
want to be the cause of that. You know, there is people out there that even if you were covered in a paper bag, they, they would still lust. But we have to be careful, and we have to try to um, not cause that. You know, we have to try the best that we can to prohibit that, prohibit from someone else stumbling and looking in the mirror and say, would I want my child wearing this? You know, am I, should I feel ashamed for what I'm wearing? I mean, a lot of people say, you can be so picky with that. You can be too into that. But there's no such thing as being too into Yahweh. There's no such thing as being too much into Yeshua. I mean, this is a real thing. I'm so passionate about this. I just, I just want to live for Yeshua. And there is no such thing as following him to the T. I mean, the apostles and the martyrs, the people that died so many years ago and that still die today for Yeshua are out there are out there giving their life for Yeshua, out there following him to the T. And we here, mostly in the Western society, think that all we have to do is profess him with our lips and that we are saved. That is not how it goes, my friends. It is, yes, professing him with your lips being baptized, you know, in His Holy Spirit, reading His Word, and doing good works, because faith without works is dead, and works without faith is dead. We do have to obey. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey me. So we have to obey Him. You know, we have to obey Him in every part of our lives. And I can't be too into it. If I'm too into it, then good. I, I love when people say that, you know, because I want to be so enmeshed in Yeshua, because He is my life, and He is the whole purpose of life. It's not all this stuff. You know, while we should enjoy our lives, but it's still not about all of that stuff. It is really about Yeshua and about following Him, not caring what other people think, not caring if other people look at, look down on you and think you're funny for following Yahweh, because that's what will happen. You will be persecuted. Yeshua said persecution will come with following Him. It's a given. And tribulations will come, and times of trying and sorrow, and even family turning their back on you. You know, even even people that you thought were your friends turning their back on you. But if all I have is Yeshua, that's all I need. That is all you need. And just really, modesty is a thing of the heart first. You know, you can be listening to me and say, okay, I'm going to wear a long skirt now. Um, that's not how it does because it has to be an issue on your heart. It has to be conviction from Yahweh. Ask Him. Um, do the research for yourself. Read the Word and just just let His Spirit fill you and just let your body be honoring for Him and not honoring for yourself and not to look good to other people. It is okay to be beautiful because we are all beautiful in our unique ways. But to come out of the world and not dress like the world does and not do as the world does. And if you have the spirit of wisdom, you will understand. And I just pray that this, this can convict your heart and that we start setting the standard for modesty a little bit higher because the modesty standard in our society has gone way, way down. And it's just disheartening to see so many people just giving their bodies to the world. And um, it causes so much sex and promiscuity and lust and porn and all this stuff and it's, it's just very sad that we live in such a fallen world but we are overcomers through Christ and, and we do not follow those ways so um, until next time see ya, bye